So by now you probably know that when football boots are made, they're the result of developers and designers and a lot of product people sitting down and using all their knowledge, all the data, to basically put together the best boot that they possibly can at the time. But all of that data has to come from somewhere, and for Nike, that somewhere is, well, here. The Nike Sports Research Lab, which is uh, normally a place that uh, you don't get to go. We, um, we managed to sneak our way in, so don't tell anyone we're here, but uh, it, it's a really cool place that you can see is wired with cameras and sensors, even on the balls there are sensors. It's everywhere to track basically everything you do and take all of that data for the developers to use. So it's gonna be really, really cool. Join me and we're gonna show you something that, well, you won't see every day. So obviously, there are a lot of tests that you can do in this lab. Uh, there's an agility test, there's one with passing, but also there's one with shooting. And here they can basically track, well, they can track a lot of things. But one of the coolest things is that not only can they measure your speed, but they can also go in and very closely look at where in the goal are you, are you basically striking the ball and also what's the probability of actually scoring. So it's not just about you know how hard can you hit the ball. Some people can hit it really hard, but don't know how to place the ball. And then they can also go in and measure because there's a pressure plate a couple of, in a couple of spots under the, the turf here. How much pressure, how much force you actually apply in the ground. And that basically directly translates into all of the data that the developers and the designers get when they develop the football boots. So all of the things that the athletes do here, they might seem pretty simple. I mean, you just go up and you take a shot, you try to score, right? But all of that data, because of all the science going on around us in the room, is basically what enables the developers to do the things they do, combined with their genius and missions, of course. But that's pretty cool. So just taking a shot like this, I hope the machine's on, but let's see if I can get a pretty good shot, get a hard shot in, and that was not the best, but would it have gone in? We don't know, we don't know. But we gave them some data. And I talked about the high-speed cameras that, well, they're not up there, they're up there. And you've also got some over here. They're actually looking directly down at, as you can see, me taking a terrible touch around the cone here. But that's super slow motion. And if they actually then put sensors all over me, you know, these little white bubbles, so I look like a proper mocap man, they can actually track every single little thing, how I apply pressure to the ground with the pressure plates. They have visual evidence and also little motion things. So they can actually see how I apply pressure how, which direction it's going down into the ground, how I'm pushing off, which also means that they can look at how the athletes can actually improve themselves. Might there be some imbalances in their body? Again, foot scanning, all that stuff, but also how do the boots affect that? Is there any unwanted pressure coming from the plates? Is there any slippage in the upper? They can see all of this with the high-speed cameras and all the motion detecting. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on and it's hard work. Gotta tell you that for an old man. So this is the foot measurement room where you come in and you can measure basically everything on your feet. Uh, there's this foot scanner right over here where you get all these nice little dots on your feet and you go in, they measure your feet to see how wide are they, how high are they, how wide is your heel and all that stuff. And I basically figured out a lot of things I never knew about my feet. Why I'm having fit issues in the heel, why I might be slipping a little bit, that my instep is a little higher. I already knew that, but it's fun to see all these little things that they can go in and recognize, okay, maybe boots are flexing here. Typically, if your foot flexes the same way, that's cool. If you flex a little further forward, that's a problem because there are usually studs there, so they can go in and look at all these little things. And once they aggregate all that data from thousands and thousands of players and athletes, then they can go in and say, okay, on average, what would be the best way to build a last and also build the tooling, the sole plate, under that to basically build a boot that fits as many people as well as possible. And then, of course, if you're an elite athlete, you can build it exactly the way you want it, but that's the next step, right? But really cool, and I figured out a lot of things that um, I didn't know. And then we did a little bit of, uh, well, I did a catwalk, um, and I had my my walking measured, how do I apply pressure on both my feet when I walk? And you can basically see there's a pressure map over here. Where do I apply pressure on my foot when I walk? How do I angle my foot? Do I put a little bit too much weight on the outside? How does it come back in that as I lift my foot up? All of this is very, very scientific and to be fair, I don't understand half of it, but apparently they're able to tell me 
what, what problems I might have in the future, uh, where my body might feel a little tight, and they're right. And basically they can use all of this information, not only to help me as an athlete, tell me that I need to work on my glutes, surprise, surprise, but also take all of that information again, gather it all, and then just take average, see, okay, where do you need the flex point in a pair of football boots? Where do we need to reinforce? Do we need to make it a little bit stronger on the outside because footballers' feet tend to angle a little bit outside because we open it up to strike the ball all the time? There's so much data, there's so many little things that can go in and, and look at that then the, the engineers, the designers can go in and use to tweak. So this is like, you know, I thought, yeah, cool, they built a last and, you know, it's all a piece of, uh, gel or rubber, whatever. Uh, <laughs> there's so much science in this. Oh, you, know, you don't believe it, guys. And this is just from walking three steps. Now, they've also measured my uh, foot mobility, my range of motion, and it's not good. Uh, now, what they said is that I don't think it's, it, it doesn't look all that bad, but I tend towards, uh, I trend towards the more stable, the stiffer side. And I think it's a very common thing for footballers, if I'm not mistaken, right? And, and, and that simply comes down to the fact that when we plant our standing foot, when we take a shot, we need to have a little bit of stiffness to get that stability and also to be able to transfer that power more efficiently into the shot. So that is something that, that is typical of footballers, but it also indicates that me in particular, but also most footballers should work a little bit on foot and ankle mobility. It is what it is. But what these guys can tell from just looking at photos and data, it's, they know me better than I know myself from just this. Okay, so lastly, I did a little bit of jumping, and apart from looking really silly, just uh, they could tell that uh, when I jump, and just jump like this, I tend to lean to my left, and apparently I lean a little too much to my left. See, I'm right-footed, and uh, it seems to be a fair deal that I'm used to planting my left a lot because I'm super right-footed, so that's how I usually, you know, when I jump and move, my left is kind of the solution to everything. When I'm off the ground and I land, I, I, I trust my left. Apparently, I trust it a little too much, which seems counterintuitive now that I'm right-footed, but, uh, but, but it also tells me that I should do some biometrics, do a little bit of more stabilization so I can get a little bit towards the middle. Maybe not all the way, but, but it is what it is. And again, it really goes into give me some personal data on what I can do to just make things a little bit easier for me. And then of course, all of this information goes into that big data pool that the developers and designers can use to also improve the football boots to help as many people on average as possible. All of this, and of course, many, many other things. So as you've just seen, there goes a lot more behind the scenes than actually just sitting down, drawing some sketches and doing a bit of development on the boots than you might think when it comes to making new innovations here at Nike Football. We've seen the lab, not many people get to, and we've actually also tried a few of the things ourselves, which, um, you know, science is always impressive, but actually seeing it myself, being a football boot nerd, has been, it's been a really fun experience. And it actually makes me appreciate all the little intricate details in football boots and football apparel even more. But what do you guys think of well, all of this? Let me know in the comment section right down below. Of course, if you want to buy the new Nike Mercurial Vapor 16s and experience all of the results of the innovation yourself, you can do so in the LinkedIn News Board right over there. Of course, also make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And if you want to see my review of the Vapor 16s, you can do so right down there. With those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.